James again from Ruti Customs. Uh, this is my 20 ton H frame Harbor Freight uh, press. I have modified it a little bit, um, not much, but I added some parts. First thing I did was those are just two by fours with casters on it, to make it portable so I can move the press around the shop. Also built a little shelf back there for spare toolbox. Um, that is the stock hydraulic bottle jack that it comes with. Uh, I am going to look into, I've been looking into getting the hydraulic, the over hydraulic one to upgrade. And the main thing I'm going to go over on this video is the press brake that I built for it. Um, this is a, a press brake to bend plate and it works really well. Start out with the bottom plate. That's a three quarter inch thick plate. I got it pretty much to fit right in between there. Um, this is quarter inch angle iron, two pieces back to back welded and forms a little channel in there. The top plate is a half inch plate with three quarter I think by three quarter or half by half angle iron welded to it. Um, you can take the with a grinder and grind it down and make it form a point but I just welded that on there and it's worked fine. It's welded on the front and the back. Then I just welded these pieces of tubing to the side and then square our solid stock tube right there that fitted inside of this. Just welded that. It's, it's welded here and then I drilled it through half, drilled it through and welded it on the bottom and grinded it flat. This keeper I bought at Lowe's. It's for shelving units. It is galvanized so you do have to clean off the galvanized part and use your respirator when you weld it but I did that. I welded it here, welded it here. It's welded along the bottom here too. Um, this is, it's a keeper, so it just tightens that Allen down on there and holds it and pulls the top plate up when you're done. Um, I used to have springs, so the springs mounted here, but I didn't need them because I didn't need to spring back because when you release the pressure, this pulls it back up because it's on there. So, I have seen these sell for around 200 bucks with shipping, and you got to weld it together. I built this out of scraps that I bought at the recycling yard metal shop for right around 30, 30 to 40 bucks. I say you could actually get one of these built out of the plate that I bought and everything. So it'll bear. I have been up to quarter inch plate with it. It will bend quarter inch plate. Um, not probably the full width of the machine, but um, I built bag brackets, bit bag bag brackets for air ride suspension, um, heavy duty bumper brackets, uh, custom mounts, all kind of stuff with it. So it will bend quarter inch plate. Today I got a piece of scrap strap, eighth inch, and I'm going to put that in here. So you just put it in the press, put that mark on the line that you want, see it'll come through to the back. <coughs> Make sure this guy's tight and then start just pumping away. And it'll bend it pretty quick. Like I said, I think a hydraulic one would obviously work way better, but this gets the job done. It'll bottom out. You'll know when it's there uh, you could always put an angle finder on it, but I mean, like I said, I'm just, just doing it for demonstration purposes. And you see it pulls it straight up. And you pull that piece out, and you got a nice crisp bend 90 there. So, uh, like I said, about between 30 and 40 for the shop press. 
or for the press brake. Sorry, guys. And <clears throat> I think you can get the H frame now for like 159 with the coupon. Uh, it's a little different. It bolts together and it's gray. This is uh, this is one of the older ones, so it doesn't bolt up here. It's it's actually welded. So. And the new ones, they all bolt together. They bolt together down there on the bottom and all that stuff too. So um, it is adjustable. It'll go down. It's a regular press. I mean, you could press axles and everything else with it. Um, we have used it a lot in the shop. It, it's definitely a tool we use. So if you have any questions, let me know. And keep checking back. Oh, hit that like button, please. And uh, share it with your friends if, you're, if, you, if you think they'd be interested in something like this. And... Keep checking back for videos, more videos. i um, going to try to do at least a couple a day and updates on the tools I have. So thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.